We, we are having, we are having a breakthrough, 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 breakthrough. We are, we're having, oh, we're having, oh, we're having a breakthrough. Hallelujah. Today has been a glorious day. Today, I have been liberated from many things. And the ironic thing about all of this is that it is Tisha B'Av. It is the ninth of Av. It is the time of the destruction of the first and second temple, Solomon's and Zerubbabel's. However, there are plans. There will be a third. And it's so interesting because this was a time, and it is a time, of mourning in remembrance. But I want to ask you a personal question, friend. What is it that you are mourning or have been mourning a little bit too long? That it's time that the Lord would say, your mourning period is over. It's time to stop mourning. You know, in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says there is a time and a purpose for every season under heaven. So there's a time to dance, there's a time for weeping, there's a time for sorrow, there's a time for war, there's a time for peace. There is a time for every purpose under the sun, written by King Solomon in the book of Ecclesiastes in the Tanakh, the Hebrew Scriptures. So I ask you, what are you mourning in your own personal life that God might be saying, you know what? You've mourned a little bit too long. It's time. It's time to come out of mourning. Liberation should come out of mourning. And I don't mean mourning, Bogarto, I mean mourning. M O O M O U R N I G. Yes, the scripture says we should mourn and we should weep for those who are weeping and also joy with those who are experiencing joy. Let's not be insensitive. Let's be empathetic. But real empathy comes from having a real relationship with the living God, being attached to God, knowing His love experientially, gulp and swallow it, and then being able to love yourself with a healthy love, and then being able to love others with God's love, because people know if your empathy is real, I remember some, saying, someone saying something to me, I am empathetic, but I felt absolutely no empathy. You can't con people. The truth is the truth. So I want to speak to you today about coming out of many things, coming out of agreement with the darkness. You know, we have partners with darkness. As children, we get exposed to things that come into our home, and we truly were victims. We had nothing to do with it. But as we grow up and we see these problems in our lives, it's time to take responsibility. Responsibility, take responsibility, take responsibility. Whoop, for your part. Hallelujah. It's a great day because out of the morning comes the rejoicing. And that is scriptural. The Psalms say weeping may endure for a night. And we, we surely know about that. But joy comes in the morning, M-O-R-N-I-G, in Yeshua's name. So you know, when we love God, we will experience two sides of the same coin, suffering in our Yeshua and joy in our Yeshua. And you can't have one without the other. No way. So what have you partnered with that you need to kick out? Because you know what? We can't sleep with the enemy and expect not to be burned. Okay? We can't negotiate. We don't negotiate the darkness. We kick the darkness out. Some things are negotiable, and many others are not. Don't negotiate your personhood. Don't negotiate who God has made you to be. Truly, truly, one of a kind, 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 one of a kind, in Yeshua the Messiah. Right, so letting our story and our sound and our voice inspire the type of movement that we do, right, affects the quality of our movement. And we let our movement, whoops, whoop, inspire, oh, inspire our sound. God says, take a load off, can't be properly behaved, false, pious, swear, adult, 24-7, no. 
Holy Spirit says, I have a sense of humor. I want to encourage you today, if you're partnering with the spirit of religion, you need to come out of agreement. You see, we can make our life so much more dramatic than it needs to be, so much more complicated. And I have decided today, I'm tired of the drama. Yeah, you know, the temptation is to blame others for our heartache, but we're responsible for who we choose to allow in our life. We're responsible for the choices that we make, you know? And if someone isn't good or safe for us, then the decision is ours. It's not theirs. Don't make it theirs. And let's be responsible for our lives. Let's take responsibility today for our lives in God. We're not victims. We're only victims if we choose to stay in that mindset. Only if we choose to stay in the mindset. I'm not a victim. Only if I choose to be. I'm not a two-year-old who was helpless. I'm a grown woman who can choose joy and my inheritance in the sight of Yeshua, Jesus, the anointed one, the promised Jewish Mashiach, whoop, from the Hebrew scriptures. I choose joy in Him. That is my inheritance. I choose to put away anything that would be a stumbling block in my life, anything that would corrupt, cause me to stumble, anything that would be polluting my life, God tells me, cut it off, the word of God, send it out. Choose this day, who will you serve? That's what God says in his word in the Hebrew scriptures. Choose you, choose you, choose you, choose you this day, whom, 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 whom you will serve, and I will serve the living God, and I will not partner with the darkness. You know, I have said before, that we are a target for the enemy because we love God. The enemy hates God. But I will not be a landing pad. Don't be a landing pad for the devil. Do not, do not, do not. Do not be landing. Do not be landing. Do not be landing. Do not be landing. Do not be a landing pad. Don't be a landing pad. Don't be a landing pad. Don't, 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 don't be a landing pad. For the adversary of your soul, don't. Do not. Do not partner with evil. Get rid of it. Cut it off with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Get set free today. It's time. Come out of your mourning. Come into the dance. Choose joy in our Yeshua this day. Because he is our inheritance. Peace, joy, thanksgiving, and praise. Gratitude in your heart. Psalm 100. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Praise. That's a choice. We're not victims only if we choose to be. Let's get liberated today. Come out of morning. Choose dancing. Come out of morning. Choose dancing. Now there's a time for morning. We lose someone. We lose someone who leaves this earth. There's a time for morning. But then there's a time to come out in the morning. And God will show you where you need to be at. And he's so good. He shows us how to pray. We pray and we have to remember that prayer is already answered in Yeshua's mighty name. He's the center of our heart. He gives us the prayer to pray. We pray it and we see the answer. The word of God says, ask anything in Yeshua's name. He will do it. He hears you and He'll do it according whoop, to his perfect will. In the name of Yeshua, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Shall we just move? Having fun with the King of Kings. Let him inspire you through his rest. His rest inspires a movement. And inspiration, 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 cha, 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 cha. Inspiration that God inspired you with His inspiration from the city of the great King, Yerushalayim. Rejoice and be glad. Sing and dance and get your breath.